So let's do that. And then let's march! How are you guys doing today? Woo! Woo! You excited? Yeah! My name is Raven. And I'm a yoga instructor. And I really truly believe in my heart the power of thought and the power of manifestation in that. And today I'd like for all of us to come together in solidarity and mindfulness. So can, before I even speak, can you please take a look around you and make eye contact with your fellow brothers and sisters in here? Even introduce yourself. This is a collective effort. So studies through Princeton and Harvard University have proven that when we are within three feet of each other, we are actually affecting each other's brain and heart waves. Our heart is the most powerful oh, rhythm in our being. And I believe... Okay. Oh, side note, there's poster boards over here that you can make your own signs for. <laughs> um, so, no, um, so, with that being said, all of us are truly coming together because there's something in our hearts telling us that something isn't right. Right? Yes. Right. And that there is a universal consciousness, a universal truth that all of us are beginning to believe in more and more. It's almost as if... We've had a set of denial about what truly has been going on and we're all kind of lifting that veil of illusion, right? And with that may cause confusion and, and anger, right? And so what we want to do today is find a place where we can resolve that anger and come into a sense of no longer believing in scarcity, in hoarding, and this is all mine, but really finding that place that we can celebrate together that this consciousness is not going away. Right? It's not just about Denver. It's not just about Rome. It's not just about Spain. All of us, we are all the 99% that believes this is no longer right. That there is a place that we can find that's sustainable for everybody. If, if you can all stand up with me real quick, those of you that are sitting down, I've got my fellow yogis here with me. I just want to take it a side note. I'm also coordinating yoga classes every day for the occupiers at 2:30 uh, um, to just bring a sense of mindfulness. You guys, we need to be conscious not only of our actions but how they affect others. Right? Yes. Yes. So go ahead and close your eyes for me. And take a really deep breath in. And send your breath down to your feet. And then take a full deep inhale and breathe into the top of your head. And what I'd like for you to do right here in your breaths, every inhale, pull in this idea of abundance, of sustainability, of togetherness. And every exhale, let go of that fear, let go of that anger. I want you to think of three things that make you grateful. And pull that into your entire being because it will permeate throughout. It will carry out to your neighbors, to your, your fellow protesters. Another deep inhale. And let's take a big open mouth exhale. So as Gandhi once said, each one has to find his peace from within. And peace, to be real, must be unaffected by outside circumstances. Keeping that in mind, a small body of determined spirits fired by an unquestionable faith in their mission can alter the course of history. So hold this sense of abundance, sense of gratitude when you walk today. If people get angry, keep this in mind that you have the power to calm those people, that anger is not a solution. We are dealing with an extreme critical conversation 
against the 1%. And we have to come with peace and love. So let's all raise our arms to the sky. And I want to hear you scream as loud as you can, as if we have already received this abundance, as if we have already won this battle. Thank you. Let's all enjoy this one.